Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota RAV4 XLE. Now the most notable features on this XLE is its power moonroof, power lift gate, and heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota RAV4 XLE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XLE is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if you take a closer look just over on the side, you're going to see your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your body side moldings and taking a look up top here you're going to see integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors and taking a look on the inside of the mirror you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator it will actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. <clears throat> now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black cloth into your seat surfaces with your power driver seat and lumbar support. Over on the left hand side you're going to see your mirror controls, lane departure alert, all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function, Bluetooth, mode select, voice recognition, scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. And if we take a look just at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we take a closer look, you'll see your distance to empty on here with your fuel economy, eco indicator, all-wheel drive, and sway warning. Lane departure alert, messages, and your settings menu with the lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, as well as a couple of other additional features. Taking a closer look just at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features which include your hazard lights, traction control on and off, as well as your indicator lights for your rear passengers. So parents, if you're worried about your kids not buckling up their seatbelts, those indicator lights right there won't actually turn off until they've actually buckled up their seatbelts. If you go inside the setup menu, you're going to see your general voice display as well as a couple of other additional features. Dual zone climate control settings underneath and down below you'll find the eco and sport mode with the heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper deicer, USB and auxiliary input and your power outlet. Matted to an automatic transmission and if you take a look at the top here you're going to see your open and close as well as the tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof with your sunglass case holder. And if we take a look just down below here at your backup camera as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your tailgate you're going to see your backup camera just located on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you. Closing in on the rear cargo space as you can see you do have the carb cover in the back which is nice because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. You have the cargo liner in here as well which is also great because if you spill any liquids back here it makes things a little bit easier to clean up afterwards just because you can have it removed and cleaned up properly afterwards. If you need more additional cargo room you can actually fold down the 60-40 split rear seat for yourself and if we take a look underneath the floor you're going to see your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located. You can also store your uh, your cargo cover underneath here as well so if you're not using it or if you have cargo that sits up a little bit higher and it's in the way you can just place it underneath the floor and then use it afterwards when uh, you're all uh, cleared out in the back. Now the other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate so all you have to do is hold down the button for approximately two seconds of the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times then when you close it and open it again it'll open up to this height. However if you want to reset the height for yourself hold down the button for more than four seconds it'll beep several times then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this maximum height. A couple of the uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent back your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.